Welcome to our 75th Grant Award Celebration. My name is Jennifer Navarro-Rios. And I'm Suzanne Valerie. Together we co-chair the Grant Making Committee for the Fund for Santa Barbara. This past year, many of us have been ha had to adjust how we, how we do our, our work, how we interact with each other, and how we celebrate. Uh, as this pandemic continues into the winter, we are once again bringing this award ceremony to you virtually. Another thing that we had to adjust was our general fall ma grant making cycle. As many of you know, we had to put the cycle on pause and instead increase our budget for our emerging needs grants. This allowed us to be responsive to all of the crises that 2020 brought us, including COVID-19 and the racial justice movement. We were able, however, to move forward with our multi-year cycle and we're thrilled to bring you the awardees so that you can hear of the inspiring work that they do in the community. But first, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge all of the people that make up the fund, from our dedicated board of directors, to our thoughtful and compassionate grant making committee, to our inspirational youth making change board, and finally, our amazing Fund for Santa Barbara staff. Thank you for all that you do. Our all volunteer grant making committee reads all the proposals that come in. We conduct site visits, this time virtually, and um, we meet in all day Zoom meetings to do our deliberations. And then we make our final recommendations to the board of directors. As you listen to our powerful speakers, please keep in mind that this cycle, we were only able to fund half of the applicants. While we recognize our funding limitations, we would also like to acknowledge that all applicants were very deserving and we look forward to partnering with them in the future. Now, please stay tuned to hear from our extraordinary fall 2020 multi-year grantees. Thank you. Hello, I'm Joan Hartman, Santa Barbara County's third district supervisor. Today, we're celebrating the three multi-year awards and I'm a proud former member of the grant making committee. So I know firsthand how significant these grants can be. The first honoree and grant award winner is Equalitech for the Goleta Valley Tech Center. It is an adult learning center that expands free access to technology and education. Second is the Independent Living Resource Center's Rapid Response Committee to shape programs and services through social media to improve services for people with disabilities. And third is the Santa Barbara Alternative to Violence Leadership Project. In its Take to the Streets project, Youth leaders will identify and mentor drug-involved AVP youth and learn ways to turn them towards more positive paths. Please join me in congratulating all of our multi-year grantees, and thanks for letting me join you today in this wonderful task. Hi, I'm Danny Fitzgibbons, the Executive Director of Equalitech. We are so honored to receive this multi-year grant from the Fund for Santa Barbara. Even before the challenges of COVID, our digital and language literacy program, specifically designed to bridge the digital divide, was already important for community members marginalized by our high-tech society. Helping people learn the basic skills on their devices, whether it's a smartphone, tablet, or computer, has this year become essential. I want to thank our amazing program director and architect of the DLLP, Dower perez Cañete whose empathy and diligence has helped us create a learner-friendly environment that builds confidence and helps empower our constituents. Next, I would like to thank our two teachers, Astrid and Araceli, who have the same passion as Dower for helping people realize that anyone can learn computer skills and that language should not be a barrier to lifelong learning. I would also like to thank our very first tech promotora, Teresa, who is doing the important work of personally reaching out to each and every student to monitor their progress. Finally, I would like to acknowledge all of our supporters over the last four years and ask that you continue to support our vision of a world in which every person, regardless of socioeconomic status, has the opportunity to thrive in today's technologically driven society. Thank you. The staff is the independent living research center with Greg T. 
to send a thank you to the fun for such a bubble for seeing being as it we simply get a one of its material grants for the fall of 2020. The grants will increase the capacity of our community to advocate with our state representative for policies and programs that benefit people with disabilities. Over the years, our organization has seen how relationship with elected officials resulted in policies that have had a positive impact on our community. Thank you again to the fund for supporting IOC's mission of promoting independent giving and full access to individuals with disabilities through advocacy, education, and action in our communities. Thank you to the Fund for one more time helping Santa Barbara's nonprofits, new and growing nonprofits. You do everything from trainings to helping advertising for us to give us new ideas. Thank you very much. I got involved because I got expelled. It really helped me get back into DP because that was the school I wanted to be at. I really thrived to, to do something, you know, and AVP was probably the best way to go. On my way to graduation soon. So uh, that's really helped me. But then speaking to people and really getting to know people. AVP has really changed me as a person. I say it's really helped me in every way possible. When I was introduced to AVP, I was at the stage where I was just closed in. Like, I didn't speak out to anyone or to my family. I was just a closed circle by myself. I was maybe 13 years old. I am turning 17 in February. AVP has um, changed me and the way I look at my future because now I feel like I could be, for example, a social worker in the future and just want to open up and help many other people in the world that are suffering with not even just violence but with anything that comes to to their life. I use AVP in lots of ways when it comes to violence and when I need to speak up for myself. For example with my parents before I would never say oh like this is how I think of it. Now I just just say how I feel instead of saying oh like you know um, you're wrong you did this. No I always use just what I get out of AVP using iMessages, for example. I become a better communicator. My family loves me being an AVP because I feel like they've seen me grow into a person that they thought they have never um, would be. And that's why I think they love AVP also. Hi, I'm Julia Hamilton, president of the Board of Trustees of the Fund for Santa Barbara. And I bring greetings and congratulations to all of you who've received grants from the fund in this cycle. I'm sending you greetings from here in my home to your home uh, as we shelter in place during this pandemic. And I wish we were together getting to know each other and doing this work of building a better world side by side. But right now we are called to shelter in place to keep each other safe. And so I hope you are safe wherever you are right now uh, and know that we are together in spirit. And one of the things that brings me hope during this season and during this time especially is knowing that even while we are staying at home, 
you are out there doing the work of breaking down barriers, building stronger connections in our community, expanding compassion, creating a vision of justice that includes everyone, that empowers everyone, and that works from the ground up to make sure that everyone has access to the resources they need, the community connections and support that they need to live their most fulfilled and best lives and build this community stronger. And so congratulations, keep up the great work. I can't wait to see what you accomplish in the future. And I'm looking forward to the day when we'll be able to celebrate together in person. Take care and be well.